Well, welcome to the final part of the building. You know, I've added in a couple of things. The game is all finished in, you know, with what I feel I'm capable of. So, to start off with, I'm just going to quickly press play. And as you can see, I'm, I've am i actually got the person holding something. It isn't a gun, but it sure is enough. It, it's close, okay? It's the best I could find. Like... There's swords. I was going to use a staff, but game was like, no, what, what are you thinking? I, I should rebuild the light in at some point, but nah, I'll do that, you know, before I play the game. Who cares about that? So, let's actually get into the coding of this stuff. So, as you can see here, you can see uh, his blueprint is... Hero TTP enemy blueprint copy. Um, now, when I find that, I shall show you how I did this thing. Complete characters, and here it is. So if I go into edit this, oh boy. Uh, go into the skeleton, and as you can see down here, onto his right hand socket, I've added in a preview asset of the wand. Now, to get the wand in, you first have to add it into the into the level, because that won't appear in game because it automatically just goes snap onto his onto his uh, onto his skeleton. Uh, his fingers look a little bit crooked, but you know, eh. who cares? So that's that's you know. So when you put it in, it's not actually attached. You need to actually do some blueprint work. So if we close that for now, and go into the level blueprint, I shall, uh, so this is it, S simple enough, so when the when the level begins, you know, you tell it to begin play, and then you uh, attach actor to component, so that attaches the thing, the the bubble wand, onto the thing. Um, obviously the target's going to be the bubble, bubble wand, um, as long as it's something that's got this static and movable thing, you are able to attach it onto it. If it doesn't have these components, you can't attach it because it because it has to be movable. It has to be movable in the world because it's moving. You can't have something that's unable to be moved, you know, because the character's moving. If that makes it makes sense in my head, but whether I'm saying what I think I'm saying, I have no idea. So then, obviously, we get the player character, which is you know thingy. And we stick it onto the mesh of the character, so it under, so it goes. Okay, I've got the character, I've got his mesh, and I'm going to attach it onto that skeleton. And then you, then you tell it where you've put the preview asset. So mine's hand or socket. Um, then you snap it to the target, and you weld the bodies together. Weld them. You are welded. So that's that bit of code. This shouldn't take too long because the last thing I added in, as you can see, is the health bar, which actually works. <sighs> I should really put myself down in here instead of the instead of taking the lift. Uh, should have added in some lift music, I think. You know, I suppose I can whistle for you whilst this is going on. Ooh. Oh, I can't whistle. Yeah, okay. It's not a whistle. It's more of a painful squeal. But you know, so as you can see, they're just standing there at the minute. I really hope the nav mesh is working. I did re-add it back in, but we'll uh, we'll see. Ah, oh, yeah, well, there they go. And look, as you can see, my health bar goes down. And then, yeah, it lags a bit when you die, but you know, so they do move. It's the only reason I got rid of it in the first place was because it kept rebuilding the navigation every time. I had the nav mesh in and I was just like, yeah, this is going to really irritate me, so I deleted it and re-added it back in. So, let's go on to how I did the health. So, if we find the hood, here we go. So, as you can see, I've got one called hood. This is meant to be pause menu, but I uh, got lazy and couldn't be bothered to rename it. So, if we go into here, so as you can see, I've attach this on then if we go into the graph you can see that you know 
when when the world first gets constructed, cast you know this hood onto the third person uh, and set it to the character. You also want to get the player controller so that it understands that the hood is you know on that camera. You know, so when you move, you know it moves with you. Um, there was some other code. You know, if it's all about finding it. Ah, yeah. This. Uh, you need a character variable so that you can, and you know, you set it to public. And then what you do on the designer is that if you click on the progress bar, you can see that I have to find it to the character, and then I found the variable player HP. So that it is now attached to the player HP that I added in onto the third person, which is on him. If I'm pretty sure I showed this before, but you know, just for verification, if I find his blueprint, there he is. Hello, as you can see, there's his HP just here. So it gets that, as you can see, it's set to one. So this is also for the hood. Let's uh, move this up. No, not the whole thing. Tit. Right, move up. Thank you. Now let's zoom in a bit. So, when the event begins, draw hood and uh, attach it onto the third person character. Uh, event begin overlapped. Create the hood. Get the player character. Add to the viewport so it understands that it's to the camera. Remove from the parent so that, you know, when I um, press the pause menu, it doesn't show up. At least I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure that's what that does. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going mad. Yeah. I know that does something. Let me think for a second. Remove from parent. Oh, yeah, so that it's... Even though it's, it's not attached to the person, it just... It's... You know, it doesn't count as its hitbox, it's just on screen. Uh, then you tell it to set the input mode to game only. You know, so it understands, you know, that when the player gets hit, that the progress bar should move down. And then you tell it to get the player controller again. Nilla. Player character, player controller, they're, they're all middled up in here. So that's basically all the code that's left. So the last thing I've got to do after recording this little bit is uh, actually play my game. You know, which as you can imagine is going to be very one-sided towards uh, towards certain destruction, shall we say. But, um, yeah, let's get onto it before I forget. So, toodles till the uh, actual game part. <laughs>